Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch. So for today's video, I am doing my beauty room tour, kind of like a little overview of it all, and I'm also going to pack it up. I'm not sure if I told you guys yet, but everybody on my Instagram that has seen my Instagram stories would know that I am moving. I'm just moving down the street for now, but that means I have to basically pack up my whole beauty room, so that's what I'm also gonna be doing today. And on my Instagram, I did have a poll to ask you guys if you wanted to see me pack up my beauty room and kind of give you a little tour of it and the majority of you said you wanted to see it. Keep in mind this beauty room was never completed so everything is not how I would like it to be but I think the majority of it is really nice. It has all the nice white walls and I really love my vanity so I'm excited for you guys to see it all. It is also pretty small so I think I'm just going to show you guys an overview and also show you guys into my drawers a little bit and then you guys can just watch me basically pack up my room and clean so if that's something you'd like to see then please just keep watching. Okay so walking in the door this is what you would see. This is as far back as I can get it with all my lighting and everything in the way. So on the left hand side I just have my all that glitters picture frame up there and it has fairy lights hanging down from it. I also have a little winter Christmas tree. Down on the left is where I have a little table, which I use to put all my makeup on when I film, and when I'm not filming, it kind of just sits there. And then to the right, that is my vanity that holds all of my makeup in it, and my brushes and lipsticks on top. And then I have a little end table beside it that has all my hair care products, nail care, and some of my perfume. And then this is just the floor and rug, in case you're wondering what that looks like. So this is my little table that I have my mirror on and my pumpkins and some books. And also underneath it has a little shelf where I put some planners and I have some L'Oreal face masks that are down there that are my favorite and some of their sheet masks pushed to the back I believe. I also have another perfume down there and it's just another kind of random shelf. And then I also have a little rug over here and this is where you can see all the cords. I charge my camera battery down there on the floor. Okay, this is the embarrassing side of the room. This has like a quarter of my closet in here and it's just basically all jam packed on this rack I have right here. It is not cute at all. I couldn't really make it cute because there's just too many clothes. And I also have a big pile of clothes down there too. It's so messy. It also has my mom's computer right here. So yeah, this is definitely what I would say is the undone side of the room. Okay, so this is the overview of the top of my vanity. Sorry, I didn't know how any other way to film it so you can totally see me in the background. Okay, so right here we have all my extremely dirty brushes. I'm really sorry I did not clean them. And my sponges are all on the right side of my vanity. I also have some moisturizer there and some setting sprays down on the side. So the first top drawer on the right side of my vanity holds all my bronzers, blushes, and highlights. This drawer is jam-packed. If you want to see an in-depth collection of all what I own, I will list it down below. I have a few collection and declutter videos if you want to see them. And then the bottom drawer on the right hand side holds all my really random stuff, my craft stuff, some colored hairsprays. And this is just basically a bunch of stuff I get from the dollar store and Walmart if I want to do any creative looks or anything. I bought most of this stuff for the Halloween time, so this drawer is just full of stuff as well. So this middle drawer holds all of my eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadows, small eyeshadows, everything like that. And I also do have a collection and declutter video on this drawer as well. So if you saw that, then you probably already know where all of my makeup items are stored. And then just below this drawer underneath, I store one of my Morphe palettes. It is the 35F palette. And also these measurable different lip bolts. Every time I take some out, I end up losing some. So that's why there's a ton missing. Those two items are just kind of big and bulky, so they stay down there because I have no other place to fit them. And then just moving upwards on the actual middle level, I have some lip liners and eye pencils and mascaras maybe in there. That's kind of just a random jar. It's supposed to be lip liners, but I end up putting lots of things in there. And then to the right I have two setting sprays and a tart oil. So on the left top side I have all of my lip products. I have MAC, Anastasia, and then separate drawers. I have my Urban Decay ones in there, Bite Beauty in here, Wet n Wild down at the bottom. Just a whole bunch of lipsticks are stored in this acrylic container. And then moving down, I just have this little cute fox my mom gave me. You can hold basically whatever in there. So this drawer I actually don't think you guys have seen yet. This is jam-packed full of foundations, concealers, 
eyeliners, mascaras, moisturizers, just whatever you can think of. There's some brow products in here. And then at the back, there's a ton of lashes that probably the majority of them need to be thrown out. But yeah, I'll kind of show you more as I am packing them up. I'll just kind of show you guys what is in here because this is just too crazy to try and go through right now and have to do it again after. And then the last drawer at the bottom is actually another crazy drawer. This holds a bunch of extra lipsticks. There's a ton in this Ipsy bag I have. And then there's even more in here just chucked randomly because I had absolutely know where to put them and then I also have some stuff back here that I'm saving for future giveaways and everything I have some lip masks ipsy bags teeth whitening ring cleaner just a bunch of random stuff basically in this drawer so this is the end table next to the vanity and this holds some of my perfumes at the top of it and my straightener and my curler that I use often and then down these are the two drawers that it has okay so this is the first drawer and it just has all of my hair care products that I have down here so some hairspray hair smoothing stuff dry shampoo hair clips and I think I have a phone case in there kind of random Can you tell I'm not an organized person yet okay and then this drawer down here oh my goodness it's so messy too it has all of my nail polishes can you guess which brand is my favorite and then it has some jewelry on the right hand side and some headbands as well and then right underneath this end table I have another straightener and this is just the box to my curling wand and then this I think is hair dye and semi-permanent hair dye just in this little box here I haven't gotten a chance to test these out yet okay I think I'm just gonna pull out all of my drawers and then oh my gosh Dakota my dog hates it when I talk to the camera because he thinks I'm ignoring him I'm not ignoring you. Could not move. So I think I'm just going to take out my drawers and kind of clean them out that way. And yeah, I might just speed up this process if it's taking a little too long. Okay, I'm starting with all my bronzers and blushes and etc. I didn't even fill up a box. I'm impressed. I can still fit more stuff in here. I'm gonna put this Morphe palette and these. I love these in here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put all of my eyeshadow palettes in this bag. This is the heaviest drawer. These are the L'Oreal clay masks. They're called the Pure Clay Mask. This one is the charcoal one. And then I also have the green one and the blue one. And this blue mask is seriously my favorite mask ever, I'm pretty sure. I have dry skin and when it dries down on your face, it still feels so smooth. It doesn't make your face feel dry or anything. It's just perfect, so I love this mask. I highly recommend you guys try out these masks. They're so good. And I'm just going to chuck them in with my eyeshadows. And these are my ears that I had for Halloween. I did a cheetah on Instagram, a cat, and a bunny. So this was the little random lip liner jar. So it has all my lip liners, which are included in my lipstick declutter video. And then things you probably haven't seen are this NYX jumbo pencil, this NYX pencil, this MAC eyebrow pencil. And I think that's pretty much it. A couple things in here are my sisters. So like this thing. And then I also got a couple new lip liners since then, but and that's about it. Yeah, I also got this Revlon Skinny Liquid Liner, and it's so good and precise. I love this. So I'm just going to dump all of these in this box. Also, with this craft drawer, I think I'm going to leave literally everything in it and just pack it like this. Coda, I'm recording. I don't know if you guys would be interested in knowing what's in here, but yeah, basically just some colored hairspray. There's some body paints and cream paints in here that are literally just from Walmart. And then I also have like a bunch of my glitters in here too. And the rest is basically just for Halloween. So yeah, I'm just going to leave all of this in here and chuck it in the car like this because I'm too lazy to move everything in this. Okay, does anyone else think this looks so satisfying? It looks so pretty. Okay, Instagram post, here I come, after I said the sub cuter. How pretty is that? Oh, 
Okay, for this drawer, I'm keeping everything in it just because there's so much random stuff and if I was to try and put it in a box, it would just be way too messy. So I'll quickly show you what I have in here since I've never shown you this drawer before. So I have three CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundations because it's one of my favorites. And then I have a Maybelline BB Cream L'Oreal Pro Glow. A whole bunch of Maybelline Fit Me Foundations, Hydrate and Smooth and Matte and Poreless. I like them both. And I have a Cosmetics CC Cream, another CoverGirl foundation. This one is the Elixir foundation. And then I also have this powder foundation. It's the CoverGirl Right Set Gorgeous one. And I have some stick foundations. Also some primers in here. I have this concealer palette from Measurable Difference. I have some moisturizers in here because I like to use moisturizers as primers. That's what I usually use to use as a primer and maybe a little bit of another one. And I have a bunch of lashes, individual lashes. They're basically all Ardell 105 Glamour Lashes because those are my favorite. And these ones can get thrown out because those are smushed. Some Glad Lash Lashes, these can get thrown out. These little containers I just got from Walmart in the kitchen section. I'm pretty sure they are cutlery containers. And they just hold a bunch of random things like eyebrow pencils, foundation, some more eyebrow products, and my concealers. So I have a bunch of concealers in here. My favorites are the NYX HD Concealer, Maybelline Better Skin, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I really like this Revlon one I just got. And this Urban Decay one. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of these are my favorites. And these two I like, but they're not my favorites. I also have a MAC one in here. Oh, this one is my absolute favorite. This is the Benefit Airbrush Boing Concealer. I have some lash glues, liquid eyeliner, and I also just have a bunch of random eyeliner pencils in here too. And then in this one, same kind of thing, but mostly mascaras. I have this NYX eyeliner, some mascaras. This is an eyeshadow primer. And I also have a bunch of NYX jumbo pencils in here and just a bunch of random stuff. Okay guys, I may or may not have an issue. You can't, this doesn't even do it justice. Look at all these clothes that I have to put away. Oh my goodness. This isn't even close to the amount of clothes I own. This is just what's down in my beauty room. Well, here's all the stuff so far, which is the majority of it. And all of my clothes didn't even fit in that one box, so I had to put a bunch in a bag too. And then hangers in another bag. But yeah, that's basically the mess we have so far. Now I'm just going to take down this stand that I had my clothes on and take down that Christmas tree and rug. And then that's all empty. Yeah, and I think tomorrow I will vacuum and roll up those rugs. Okay, so this is the last bit of the video. Sorry, I forgot to film the empty room. And I forgot to film an outro, so I'm doing it now. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like the video if you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!